half hour with the complaints continuing to pour into the Action News troubleshooters from people desperate for their unemployment money. Yeah, and now a new issue has popped up impacting tens of thousands of people. Our Nidia Han has been working hard to get viewers the money that they deserve. She joins us now live with the details. Nidia. Yeah, we are certainly feeling the frustration of so many consumers and we actually just heard from the Pennsylvania Department of Labor. So you will be hearing what they have to say and the troubleshooters, you know, have helped a number of you get your unemployment money a few months ago and we are continuing to try to do so for more viewers, but there is this new delay and new roadblocks. We are continuing to follow it. We have talked to the folks at Pennsylvania and New Jersey, you know, Pennsylvania blames the delays of the extension payments on technical issues and system reprogramming. Um, we are passing along our viewers issues to a customer service inbox that they've given us as well as to the Pennsylvania press office. As far as New Jersey, the DOL commissioner will be a guest at Governor Murphy's press briefing tomorrow. The troubleshooters will be there too. And here's what else you need to know. We're worried about, you know, what we're going to eat. I'm worried about losing my car insurance. The list of worries feels endless for Stephanie Bayer and others as they wait for unemployment benefits. Thousands joining forces and sounding off in support groups on Facebook. I was approved for an 11 week extension. However, I haven't received anything and going on five weeks now. The second stimulus bill authorized that extension plus an additional $300 per week. They owe me almost $6,000. New Jersey says 75,000 people are experiencing a lapse in their benefits, while NJ Labor Department reprograms its systems with the extension. Former President Trump signed the stimulus at the last moment, not giving the states enough time to program their systems. We are working seven days a week to administer this new benefit as quickly as possible. But some other states have paid the extended benefits without delay, and New Jersey still isn't saying when those new benefits will get to Garden State consumers. They have no time frame, and yet you just have to wait. I don't know how they expect me to tell my landlord to wait, the bills to wait. If they haven't gotten their money, they'll get every penny that they're rightfully owed. Um, but I'll put what we've done over the past 12 months through the Department of Labor up against any state. Complaints from Pennsylvania consumers haven't let up either. The press office now telling the troubleshooters it can't help our viewers. Instead, providing the general customer service email, which we know many of you have already tried. And again, we are continuing, though, to pass along all of your viewer issues to the Departments of Labor for Pennsylvania and for New Jersey. One last thing, beware of a new scam involving unemployment. That information, guys, on 6abc.com slash links. Back to you, Brian. Okay, Nadia.